you don't see these anymore, these news racks like this. These are pedestal racks uh, uh, right here. The freestanding ones are called, well, freestanding. Now, I'm going to tell you a story. We, uh, when we all still worked there, uh, the rack room was a job, uh, a teamster job, and you literally went out, installed racks, and repaired racks. Well, it was a two-man job for a while, then as we laid off a bunch of people, it went down to one, and Noi had that job. Well, there was an enormous scandal. Now, Palo Alto and other cities were not happy with these newsstands on the sidewalk anymore, especially the junky ones, the real estate flyer ones. Um, so as cities made it illegal to have these pedestal and freestanding racks on their sidewalk, um, it, it, we would get called out, uh, not me, but uh, uh, Noi, and Noi would uninstall the uh, uh, the rack or the pedestal and you see in there that there's like uh, uh, four boxes well we we own the actual outer outer covering but the individual boxes are owned by the individual newspapers now what you did is we picked up the all four here like here and then we would call or Noi, Noi would call the other papers and say hey I've got your 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 rack and you know and drop by and pick it up whatever. Well, the rack room was kind of in between the garage and uh, our our truck driveway in, and I'm driving through every day. You know, five days. I'm noticing there's a lot of other people's racks, like the Metro, who is uh, the weekly Santa Clara paper, and our competition. And I'm thinking, I can't imagine that they're letting us hold their racks for them. Well, we weren't holding them, we were stealing them and then recycling what we could without even telling the, uh, the other papers. Well, somehow somebody wised up and somebody called the Palo Alto and the San Jose police because one day I'm driving into work and, and, and I, uh, I get there and somebody asks, hey, did you see the news? And we're on the damn TV because we're thieves. And single copy management tore the offices up looking for the contracts that let us do this and of course they don't exist. Well, Noy didn't get fired because they pretty much told him what to do, but um, I never found out what happened after that or if anyone lost their jobs, but um, these racks you don't see anymore. Um, in fact, you can hardly find the paper at the newsstand, so there you go. Anyway, it's just uh, a part of history, I guess. Thank you for watching Storytime with Joe.